We hear a lot about CSS3 today and how it can help eliminate images on the web. Well, not really images, but all those things that we used for decoration, things like we used to have to build in fireworks. That doesn't mean we're not going to build them in fireworks anymore, because now fireworks is going to help us create them in CSS. Let's take a look. Here you can see I have just a standard rectangular shape with a fill and a background. Now that wouldn't be hard to replicate in HTML and CSS, but when it gets harder, it's when I've got a nice rounded corner, or perhaps even worse, a drop shadow. How would we recreate all of this in HTML? Well, with Fireworks CS6, it's as simple as opening up the CSS properties panel, where you can see that Fireworks has understood everything that we have done to create that box. I'll simply collect all of those rules onto my clipboard, and over in Dreamweaver, I'll simply paste. And now you can see that my page has updated with that very shape, and no image was harmed in the creation of that box or drop shadow. But it's even more interesting when we get into complex shapes. Here on the Pluralist page, I have a box that has rounded corners, but only on opposing corners. And it also has a gradient and drop shadow, many of these effects, again, that would be hard to replicate without an image. But since I've already defined a width and height, I'm simply going to use the gradient and the border radius and select only those extracted rules. And you'll notice that I can even target the browsers that I'm interested in, clicking Selected and returning to Dreamweaver. I can simply paste the code and voila, my shape has updated. CSS extraction in Fireworks CS6 is going to make you more productive whether you're writing your own code or handing it off to someone else.